When you do this, when you focus on the AC friendly media first, it slows the spread of potential negative spin. You got to provide an alternative viewpoint to the old media. You never know how they're going to cover it. Let them cover it, but at least there's alternative viewpoints out there. This is what we suggest you do. So down below here, we see public safety, all the different departments and committees that are probably a part of most uh, municipalities. But here in Atlantic City, groups and organizations, CRDA, the council, uh, city council, tourism district, the meet, AC, the meet AC people. So imagine all these different groups that would love to get coverage. They would love to have a PR person to talk about what they're up to, to share their successes, to share their challenges and how they are overcoming those challenges. Imagine the city department or the street departments. Wouldn't they love coverage almost every day of how they're doing? They're repaving Pacific Avenue, and they're going to work their way up to Arctic. And uh, for the most part, they're going to get a lot of the main streets out of the way in 2015. Who's covering that? Who's giving them props? Not many people. What they do is they want to get all their information, and they just type up a few sentences, they tap out a couple of facts, some bullet points, some photographs, some videos, and they put it into what I call a news and information bucket, or you can call it an online staging area or an internal aggregator, and it all just gets uploaded. It's almost like uploading to Facebook, but it goes into this queue, into this bucket, and it's a private bucket, so it's password protected, and this bucket is sort of like all the different press releases from all the different departments, right? And the mayor can look at it, he can review it, keep an eye on things, and see what's going on. There is no central repository or hub for all this great information. Some of the information will be tough. Some of the stuff that you're talking about, if you're one of these departments, is maybe you are providing a, um, some feedback on some of the negative press that's out there, and you want to have a, a response. So you put that into the bucket. The mayor can check it out. The mayor's office can check it out. And the flow of news should always go this way. Once that bucket is filled with all that information, it's always being filled and updated. Somebody at this point in time, I'm taking a wild guess that somebody within the planning and development department is sort of like a curator or an editor. And once they take a look at all this stuff, they decide uh, what stuff needs to be prioritized or stuff that uh, you might want to give some extra oomph to, right? And you push it out to the AC friendly or the, the media that's out there that's neutral and it's going to give it a fair shake. And it's going to give them, um, quite frankly, a head start on getting this, this scoop, this news information, this breaking news out to the widest audience, much of it being online, and a lot of it being in Philadelphia, New York, and Baltimore, okay? And then it gets out to traditional media as well. As you can see, traditional media is still really important, but it is no longer the most important part of getting the word out about the all-new Atlantic City. We have to influence Atlantic City's narrative. We have to influence Atlantic City's story and the internet allows us to do that. Pictures, video, text. Sometimes we use a blog or a website. Sometimes we use Facebook or Instagram or Pinterest. We no longer have to use traditional media. They're still important, but they are no longer the end all or they are no longer the arbiter, the judge and the jury of what gets promoted and what gets ignored.